happy Friday. Oh my God, it's Friday. Did this week kick your ass like it did mine? I swear sometimes I think the universe is out to just kill me. Yeah. So, um, no, it wasn't a bad week. It was just, it was just one of those weeks that just, you know, so that was, that was it for me. Wow, I just watched a city bus make a very sharp turn. He missed a light pole by like a gnat's ass. Why are you stopping there? Why are you stopping there? What are you doing? What is that about? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm bad to talk about stuff y'all can't see, but I'm driving and trying to figure out. Oh, man. Calm down back there. There's a truck with a trailer coming. I'm not trying to go around this damn bus. Settle down. Shit. Okay, we can go now. The bus pulled off. You gonna wait, pedestrian. Ooh, these are narrow streets. I'm going to Walmart because I haven't been punished enough yet today. I'm going to Walmart. The Sprawl Mart. Actually, it's the Small Mart. It's the neighborhood market. It's the little one. And, uh, I have made a decision that I better not regret because, okay, my younger son wants to have some friends over this weekend. Not a sleepover. Like, hell no, we're not doing a sleepover. Looks like I have a spot on my face, but it's actually a bug on my windshield. Look, I got a beauty mark. <laughs> it moves around too damn much. No, I, you know, the last time he had friends over, I, I told him, I, like, you're not doing this anymore. They leave my house a complete mess. Somebody got into my Pepsis and drank some of them. Funny thing was, they didn't drink the ones in the refrigerator. They drank the room temperature ones that were sitting in the dining room. Like, ugh. What kind of weirdo? And what pissed me off was it was the uh, the 16 ounce bottles, and some that had a six pack of them in the dining room just sitting there. You know, somebody got into them and opened like three of them and took a sip out of it and just left it on the table. Like, dude. And of course, nobody did it. Nobody, nobody ever does anything. No, I don't know who did it. I did confront children like, who, who did this? Because I gave them in specific instructions to not drink my Pepsis. And like, who did this? Oh, uh, nobody did it. So, I mean, that was just one thing. But I told my son after that. And they, they mess up the place. They leave trash everywhere. You know, the house is a mess. I made him, I made my son clean everything up. I said, whatever mess they make, if you don't get them to clean it up, you're cleaning it up yourself. I'm not doing it. And he did, but I said, I'm sick of having kids over here that have no home training. They don't know how to act when they go somewhere and they just make a mess and they do what I specifically tell them not to. I know it wasn't my son. I, I, no, nah, he would have got, if he got one, it would have been one of the cold ones in the refrigerator. He wouldn't have, he can't stand at room temperature, which I don't know who can. What did they do? Did they open one? Ugh, that tastes like shit. Let me try another one. Shh. That also tastes like shit. Maybe the third time's the charm. Shh. Ooh, they all taste like shit. Yeah, because they taste like shit when they're warm. You dingleberry, that's why I put them in a the refrigerator. Thank you for wasting half a six pack. They're like $5 a six pack now. Thank you for wasting $2.50 for no damn reason. I love it when people waste my money. It's almost as much fun as when I waste it. I bought a pair of sandals online today that I don't need for anything, but I like them. And I'm planning for my Vegas trip, and I said, those would be great for wearing, you know, around the pool. Those are, those are nice. I treated myself to a pair of sandals to take on my Vegas trip this summer. You know, it's almost, damn, it's almost May. I am so excited. Because my younger son and I are going to Vegas this summer. Oh, my God. It's been on my bucket list for over 20 years to go to Vegas. And I've been saying for so many years, one of these days, one of these days. And I'm finally doing it this summer. And I'm going to do the zip line down the strip. Oh, I, I am so excited. Whenever I'm having a bad day, I just think about that. I just think about that. I want to go look at all the glitz and the glamour and the gaudy stuff. It just, I love it. It's so flashy and gaudy and I just love it. I've never been and I don't, I don't need any tips. I do appreciate it. But every time I tell anybody I'm going to Vegas, if they've been, they have to tell me what I have to do 
I don't really drink and I'm not going to any shows, so I don't need to worry about that. Hell, that'll save me thousands of dollars right there. <laughs> No, I, I'm going with my son who doesn't care about going to shows. He'll be 15 at that point. Um, so, yeah, I, we already have, I already have a, a whole itinerary of stuff. I already have our trip planned out. We're going to go to the Grand Canyon. We're doing a day trip to the Grand Canyon. We're going to see Hoover Dam. We're going to Horseshoe Ridge. That's another day trip. Um, my son wants to go to Omega Mart, which I didn't even know about before he told me. So, we're going to do that. Um, zip line. We're doing a double decker bus tour of Vegas one night um, after dark. Um, I want to get on the top. I have never been on, no, I, I take that back. Only once in my life have I been on the top of a double decker bus. I did that. Where were we? I think it's when we went to Universal. Was it Universal? No, maybe not. Somewhere in, at some point in my life, I've done, I remember doing it once, but I don't remember where I did it. Was it when we were in Orlando? I don't know. It was somewhere. But, um, yeah, I, we're, we're only going to be there for five nights. We're not staying for a full week. But, if I'm going, you know, the way I have it planned, like I'm taking a week off work, that'll give me like a day before and kind of a day after, to, you know, a day to get ready and a day to kind of recover when I get back. So, you know, we're flying out there and, you know, all that. And I've already booked and paid for everything that I could in advance. So that's all done. <sighs> now I just got to wait for it to get here. I, I swear, I'm so excited. I don't care if everything goes wrong. Just the, as long as we survive, I'm a little scared of the plane, the flight south and back, to be honest. Damn plane might snap in half in the air. Did you see that video of that plane on fire going through the air? Somewhere down in Florida or something. This was a couple of months ago. Holy shit, man. I'm, I'm scared of flying anyway. Like, thing, yeah, I don't want the plane to come apart midair. That that would be bad for my trip. I don't know that that would go too well. That's not on my itinerary, but it may, it may be anyway. Now, I'm looking forward to it. Very excited. So whenever I have a shitty day, I just think about that. Finally, I'm finally doing it after all of these years of saying, one of these days, one of these days, finally, I just said, why don't you quit saying that and actually, you know, put something behind it, like do something about it, shit, go, you're not getting any younger, just go, all right, fine, I'll go, so I'm going, um, my older son didn't want to go, he was invited, he said he wasn't interested, he said, that's just not, I, there's nothing out there I need to go see. He doesn't care about stuff like that. So, um, yay. But that's later on. That's on down the roadways. So, I'm getting my car worked on one day this week. I have, I think it's a tie rod issue. And I think I mentioned it before. Um, I took it to a place to get it fixed, but it's still doing it. But he did fix something else that needed to be fixed, but it's still making a noise. Um, Linda the Good Witch was driving it the other day. We went somewhere, and he said, yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. He said it was either that or something else, and I wrote it down. And anyway, I have a, a wonderful place that um, high, comes highly recommended. I'm going to take it there, see if they can do anything about it. So it's the kind of thing where I'm, I'm going to have to drop my car off and get a ride to work and go pick it up after work. My son's helping me with getting to work and getting back over there after they're done with it, so... We've coordinated everything, which is wonderful. It's great having a kid that has a, a driver's license. I swear, I don't know what I did before this. I don't. I don't know how I got by. But it's great. He can drop me off, pick me up. He goes and runs errands for me. It's great. Like last night. Oh, God. We had the worst storm last night. Wind and thunder and lightning. It was awful. I mean, it was one of those storms where tornadoes spin off sometimes. Fortunately, I don't think there were any tornadoes, but the wind was horrible. It's still really windy today. I'm sick and tired of this damn wind. Normally, we get our wind in March, but March was March was very quiet. We didn't really have a whole lot of crazy weather in March. It was very quiet. So, I guess we're paying for it now. We're improving how you all mart. How about you, you know, have carts that don't all pull to the left and they're missing a wheel? That'd be a start. You want to help me improve how I Walmart? Why didn't I park right there? Damn. 
damn it. Uh, what else would improve how I Walmart? How about this? How about when I go in the store, you actually have what I'm here to get? Instead of being out of at least five things every time I come here, there's always this guaranteed. What am I in here for? I am in here for stuff for my son and his little friends that are coming over. I'm getting some Sprite cans. I'm getting a 12 pack of those, some Doritos, and I need to get some cereal while I'm here. Sprite Doritos cereal. I can guarantee you at least one of those things they will not have. They will either not have the Doritos I have been sent here for, they will not have the Sprite, or they will not have the cereal. Guarantee you at least one of those they will not have, and I will have to get something else instead. It never fails. I don't care whatever fancy shit you do, whatever fancy displays you put up. I don't care. I just, I want carts that will go straight, and you don't have to wrestle them through the store like I have to strong arm the cart. You know, I get a really good workout for my forearms and triceps while I'm, you know, trying to get through here. How about carts that roll? And have what I'm here to get. I mean, it's not that they don't stock it. Though. It's not that they don't have it available. They just don't have any. They do carry it here. They just, they're always out of stuff. It's so irritating. But I guess if that's all I've got to complain about, I'm not doing too bad. But yeah, all oh, the wind last night was horrible. I have a flag on the front of my house. And it, it detached itself from the house and landed in the yard and this is a big flag and um i'm just glad it didn't hit my car i mean i thought about it and from the way it came out because my son and i were looking at it this morning the wind must have just lifted it up at just the right moment and it pulled it out of the little thing that's holding and it just went whoop and it just pulled it out of the thing because the mount's not damaged at all i thought god i hope the mount didn't rip off the house or something no it's fine it just kind of lifted it out Oh, I gotta roll the video back and see that, but it was really dark. But I'm, I'm gonna roll the the security footage back to see if I can see, like, woo, and it just landed like ten feet away in the yard. It's whoop, boop. <laughs> That's pretty cute. So it's never done that before. That flag has been out there for years, and it's never. I've never had that happen. So that's really weird. Um, what else? What else? I don't know. I don't know. It's it's been it was a crazy week, but it went by pretty fast. I'm glad it's over. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Although tomorrow it's supposed to be really windy again, but sunny. I mean, basically like today. Sunday looks beautiful. It's going to be really warm. It's going to be in the 80s, and most of the wind is supposed to die down by Sunday. So I hope. I swear. This wind is it's terrible. It's terrible. You go out there and it blows you away. That's why I have this jacket on. This is my 32 degrees jacket. I got it on clearance for $20 on their website. I just like the color. It's like a peacock color. It's like a teal blue. But when it's windy, here's what you do. It works great in the wind. If you don't want your hair all in your face, you put it up like that. And you zip it like this. And it keeps... It keeps all of your hair in here and it's not blowing in your face and sticking to your lips because you see oh Bigelow sentiment meant the lip shine and it won't stick because your hair is tucked in here and it won't blow away and it's really great I love to wear this coat on a windy day I'm not cold but it keeps my my hair out of my face which is the ultimate goal he's getting carts you know they have different color vests the different uh, Walmarts at the Super Walmarts, the Sprawl Marts, they have blue vests. Unless they're at self-checkout, then they have a yellow reflective vest like that. At the, the neighborhood markets, the Small Mart, which is where I am, they have lime green vests. And at Sam's Club, I don't know what they have because I don't go to Sam's Club. But they have different color vests. They do have a different color depending on where they work. Sam's Club has its own color. I don't know what it is. I haven't been to a Sam's Club in years. Um, I'm a Costco girl. I can't help it. But I'm going to go in there and get my stuff. And then I'm going to go home. And I'm going to redo my nail polish. I cut my finger yesterday. I don't know how. But somehow yesterday evening I noticed I had a cut right there on my finger. And it was starting to hurt. And it was turning red. And it wasn't looking good. So I've had a band-aid on it all day. 
But when I pull it off, it's going to take all my nail polish off. Well, it will take a big hunk of it off. These are the best uh, band-aids. I love these. The Next Supreme, what's it called? It starts with an N. They have these stretchy waterproof band-aids. I love them. Um, and you can wash your hands over and over and the band-aid won't come off. The only problem is, like now, if you cut yourself and you put it around and you have nail polish on, it will pull your nail polish off. It will just come off with the band-aid. There's no, I mean, I guess I could soak it in something, like maybe some, uh, I don't know, some go, what is it called, goo gone? Goo gone might, I might be able to get it off with that, but if you just try to pull it off, yeah, it takes your nail polish with it. But that's okay, because my nail polish is all jacked up anyway, and I'm going to go home and redo my nails, and maybe watch a movie or something, I don't know. I don't feel like really doing anything today. <laughs> like, I've worked all day, so I, I don't really feel like doing anything else. Anyway, this thing's making me hot. My right ear feels really hot for some reason. My left ear is fine, but my right ear feels hot. That's weird. Anyway, I hope you have had a great week. I really do. And I hope you have a good weekend coming up. I don't have any plans really now because my kids having friends over. And I mean, like, yeah. I don't know. Sunday, I'm I'm going to an exercise class. Tomorrow is just whatever. I will probably be at home doing stuff out in the yard while they're hanging out at the house. I have a bow and arrow. I have a, a bow and some arrows that I bought on Amazon and a Target. I thought it'd be fun to get those out and shoot the bow and arrow some. But if it's really windy, I'll probably have to wait till Sunday. It's hard to shoot bows and arrows when it's really windy. Um... But I got to do it at that boot camp weekend thing. I got to shoot, you know, we did some archery. And it was so fun. I forgot how much I enjoyed doing that. So I bought like a cheap bow and arrow set on Amazon. It was like 40 bucks. And I got this big, you know, target to shoot at. So I thought it would be fun to just do that at home a little bit. So, But yeah, tomorrow it's going to be really windy. So I may have to wait till Sunday. So I might do that this weekend, and I'm thinking about going back out to the farmer's market to get one of those planters, one that has little succulents in it, um, and they have the different little ceramic ones, you know, the different kinds, and I want to get one to put on my desk at work, so I may go out there and get one of those. I don't know. Anyway, happy Friday to you. I hope you have a splendid weekend. I hope you have good weather. I hope it's going to be great. Um, thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you again soon.